we've been discussing preposition or particles let's now before we go on to uh, bring in try the other prepositional phrase that we have tried to uh, uh, assume in the times so let's see that whether in relates to the times done uh, or their relationship is like preposition plus a noun phrase or a not and let's apply those tests that we have applied on uh, on the other prepositional phrase of the sentence after breakfast analysis 8 one above the suggest that in plus the times make up a prepositional phrase just like after breakfast if the analysis were correct we would expect some degree of similarity between the two prepositional phrase the similarity between after breakfast and similarity between in the times however what happens if we apply the test 1 to 4 to the in the time in the times cannot be fronted together in the times mary and bought brought after breakfast this is an incorrect sentence neither can in the times serve as x in the cleft sentence it was in the times that Marianne brought after breakfast and similarly in the times cannot be replaced with then or there Marianne brought then after the breakfast or there after the breakfast so similarly four in the times cannot be questioned by wh word when did Marianne brought after breakfast or where did Marianne brought after breakfast it's not correct sentence nor do we get this in what newspaper de did Mary Ann bring right in the times cannot be separated from the rest of the sentence by an adjunct Mary Ann brought as usual in the times after breakfast so all the tests that we used previously with after the breakfast are not applicable here so test one to four uh, five indicate that in and the times are not one constituent if they are not one constituent, it should be easy to separate the element or to change the word order. This is indeed confirmed by the following sentence, all of which are grammatical. Test 6 to 8. The times Marianne brought in. What newspaper? What did Marianne bring in? It was the times that Marianne brought in. Marianne brought the times in after breakfast. So, if in remains, uh, near the uh, verb bring so all the test applied are correct note incidentally that in must normally be normally appear in the position on the right of the object noun phrase if the noun phrase is a personal pronoun we have talked about it previously Marianne brought it in generally uh, it comes after the personal uh, pronoun Mary Ann brought in it, it will be an incorrect. Summing up the test, we see that after breakfast and in the times pattern, they are different from each other. For example, front together, after the breakfast goes very good, yes, but in the times, no. Similarly, clefting is good with after the breakfast, but in the times, no. And you can see that yes no yes no so you can easily tell that which of the test is applicable to after the breakfast and makes it a correct sentence and which of the test applied to in the times and makes it an incorrect sentence the tests show that analysis 8a above must be wrong in the time is not a prepositional phrase so what is in and what is the time we'll discuss about it later